aha, with the aid of AI, it should be super easy to make some nice channel art. What the dizzle bastard? Welcome to Peppers mm, Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> <coughs> Well, of course, I have also jumped on the AI artwork bandwagon and I have already utilized a little bit of AI artwork in one of my previous video thumbnails. Um, but I thought it uh, might be interesting to look at the development of this uh, whole stuff. It's kind of wild. Uh, I worked with Crayon and uh, Dali. And that's uh, the bit of artwork that uh, was utilized in a video thumbnail, a little angry Carolina Reaper for one of the uh, Dune book clubs. And other versions from this prompt uh, looked very much suspiciously like the label of some hot sauces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I figured that uh, this crayon AI is uh, kind of good at uh, making some... Um, oil painting style artwork, kinda nice, uh, yeah. dark robed figure among fireflies and chili peppers, hmm? Hmm. very mysterious, oh, okay, mm -hmm. ominous, yeah, my face when I have no face and it's a chili pepper, but overall, Mm, quite nice. Mm. Yeah, kinda. Not really creepy, but uh, weird. I think uh, the face has merged a bit with the pepper in this case. Yeah, and something that uh, seems to have happened um, somewhat often when I entered this cloaked uh, person uh, into the artwork that the uh, surface structure of the of the chili pepper uh, morphed into the shape of the cloak. Uh, kind of dreamy. Mm hmm. Yeah, also here, the pepper and the cloak are becoming one. Yeah. Where's the man in this picture? I don't see the person. Mm hmm. That's um, kind, kind of nice. Although you cannot really make out the chili pepper plants. Yeah. Hmm. And that's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, none of the AIs that I used so far have a good idea of what a firefly lava should look like. Um, <laughs> and this one's uh, kind of wild. Uh, a bit like a caterpillar and I think the structures on the chest of this person uh, are supposed to be uh, or uh, come from the structure of chili peppers but they look more like uh, lungs that are located on the outside of the body. Yeah, some more recent tries that I made. It looks interesting, but not quite what I had in mind. Yeah, and um, I also try to uh, make a book accurate version of uh, Poof the Howard from, for the Dune Book Club, but um, I'll save this for the end of the video because it was not really disturbing, but uh, you'll see at the end of the video or at this uh, time code here if you don't want to wait and want to skip all this rambling stuff. Let's have a look at what I made with Dali. In the beginning it was also uh, for the Dune Book Club. I uh, tried to generate the training room that was uh, uh, the setting of one chapter can see the prompts that I used. It was not really quite that successful and that was when I um, 
uh, was inspired to make this Thuthia thing. Um, and again, the AI does not really have a good idea what a firefly lava or glowworm lava should look like. But overall, uh, Dali is much better at generating human faces. Yeah, and <laughs> then I tried to upload a picture of an actual glowworm lava of my um, Sardinian glowworms and um, change the background to a desert setting. Because, of course, I want to be the worm rider on in the desert uh, <laughs> in the picture, like in uh, those variations here and uh, what I did not uh, realize is that I had um, a white background for this lava and uh, for some reason the AI thought um, or this matched more likely the pattern of uh, some various signs uh, a lot of plain white surface and some lettering and so the AI tried, uh, tried to uh, generate uh, letters <laughs> and uh, well it uh, did generate letters, but uh, a complete uh, nonsense. Uh, in the, it doesn't mean anything, but it looks like a language. <laughs> kind of funny, and uh, yeah, with the AI, um, I try to uh, set the background scene to a serene desert setting with some ch with some chili pepper plants growing at the bottom. Please, uh, <laughs> I even used. Uh, please uh, because uh, I want to be nice to the AI <laughs> yeah please didn't help uh, that's when the funny lettering desert <laughs> desert yeah and at least there's some kind of cactus in the picture so um, it was somewhat uh, set in a desert landscape and maybe this Lettering is even has some relation to the desert part. Yeah, and here are also some uh, cactuses in the background, so it was kind of set in front of a desert landscape. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> what this is. Uh, weird. I don't see the relation to a desert landscape. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, it's an, it seems to be an actual desert landscape, but uh, what, some kind of monitor or uh, table? I don't know. Yeah, and then I wasted a whole lot of credits uh, on some things that did not work at all at desert background. Yeah, you know, the definition of insanity is trying always to do the same thing and expecting a different result. Yeah, then I moved on to a more uh, stylized uh, artwork, maybe some interesting results. Something that happened a bit often is uh, merging of the firefly lava and the chili pepper. And here it kind of looks like a silverfish, <laughs> this uh, pepper glowworm hybrid. Uh, overall, it's um, and this looks more like a carrot. <laughs> I made some variations from from this. Yeah. tried some other ways to coax uh, an actual firefly lava out of the AI with some variations. Maybe it has an idea of what a Lampyris, uh, Lampyris is, but no. Are the beetles that generated, they kind of look like actual beetles, uh, but if you look uh, closer, oh, only four legs. Hmm. This one's interesting. It looks more like a some kind of weird arachnid creature. Uh, then I uh, asked for Mobius-style uh, paintings. 
kind of looks like uh, this artwork style, but uh, there's fireflies and not really what I'm looking for. And then I um, removed the white background from my firefly lava. But then the AI did some uh, wild things to this lava. Again, the human faces look kind of convincing. I could believe this is an actual person. The, the hand looks a bit weird, and that's where the glowworm is attached. Yeah. A bit crazy <laughs> what happened to the glowworm. Again, a little desert background, and I think some looks like kind some kind of snake uh, tongue that was added to the glowworm. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Turn into a tattoo. That was something that I thought about to um, make a tattoo from this. Uh, Photograph, <laughs> but this looks more like uh, someone uh, tattooing uh, a white surface with uh, three, three separate um, needles. Yeah. Again, the dreamlike merging of the different structures. Yeah, and uh, riding and Lampyris, Lampyris um, it's generating a lamp often, and the concept of riding, if there's nothing that can be related to it, uh, some horse-like creatures are generated, and the person uh, added, uh, received the wings from the firefly. firefly. This looks like uh, a monk's uh, the, this the scream. <laughs> yeah. And then I gave up and uh, just said, um, "Only uh, riding a, a giant sandworm that looks like a firefly lava." And yeah, it looks more like some kind of a snake. And again. Huh? The chili pepper plants are not really recognizable. And I tried some cave paintings. <laughs> Again, the fireflies are not really that obvious to see. Yeah. Again, horses <laughs> generated because riding uh, tends to be related to horses, uh, I guess, and the training data that the AI had when it was um, the concept of riding was um, featured, then they were most likely uh, often horses or donkeys or something like that in the picture. Okay. Now let's just have a look at um, what I got when I tried to generate a book accurate version of Pufia Howard. It's hidden in this what folder book accurate Fufia Howard Fufia Howard mm. well this one <laughs> looks kind of uh, like an elderly version of the villain of uh, the Men in Black 3 movie you know uh, uh, Boris the animal uh, I mean it's just Boris uh, uh, caught mid transformation into its uh, real boclodite uh, nature, <laughs> uh, except for the eyes. Uh, the boclodites don't have eyes, and even in the human disguise. Yeah, and this one, uh, oh, it looks like um, some kind of cenobite. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes grown shut, mouth all 
Mm. Leathery. Yeah, and the prompt was a grizzled, stro uh, strong, leathered old man with deeply seam seamed face. Uh, I don't know if I made this typos or if the file name was just shortened, but uh, storm leathered it should have been, of course, and uh, deeply seamed face, yeah. Yeah, but um, interesting. That was also crayon. Gotta go now. Bye!